Hey, sugar. It's your girl, Risa, y'all. Coming to y'all today. I'm in the kitchen. Yes. And uh, I got a meal that I'm getting ready to create, but I have never tried this, so it's kind of trial and error. What I'm trying to make is a homemade pot pie. Now, I don't have any pie crust, so what I'm going to use is my cheddar bay biscuits on top. Yeah. And I, I had some leftover chicken that I was going to use, but um, my hubby ate the chicken. <laughs> he ate the chicken. Yes, he did. So what I'm going to do, I'm boiling a pot of chicken right here with just salt. That's it. Because I don't want to change the taste of the chicken because I'm going to add some vegetables to it. And um, in my process, I have celery and onion. It's my garbage bowl. So I got that. My little spatula. And right here in my pan, I have melted some margarine. Okay. I'm going to put that in there and let that saute slowly while I am waiting on the chicken to get done. So, and that's what cooking is all about, kind of making things your own. And um, we, I have made something like this before, but um, I've used Bisquick mix. So this time I'm using actual um the cheddar babies. You know they mm, and they are good. And if you follow the instructions, you will get those red lobster biscuits, okay? Turn it up just a little bit. I'm gonna let those saute. I don't want the juice to um dissipate. Dissipate, disappear, evaporate, whatever. That's big chunks of onion that I don't want in there. So got that going. Got my chicken boiling. I have some all-purpose flour. Now the vegetables I'm going to use is something that I've already cooked earlier this week and I had in the refrigerator. And that is some steamed broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And I'm also baking chicken, okay? So I'm gonna cut up my, let me move this back. Do you see my hair? Yes, yes. <laughs> look up, girl, you look like clown. I don't know the clown. You gotta do something to it, girl. Cut up my bell pepper that I am going to put on the top of my chicken in the oven. I always save this because I'm going to put that in like my goodie pot, my crab, or something like that. So I'm just cutting these up in strips. Don't have to be doing it for them, just cut them up. So what y'all got going on today? What's good with you? Make sure I don't have a lot of seeds in it. So today, I got up and I don't understand the garbage men. Today was trash day for us. And instead of making sure that they empty all the trash out of the can, they just throw it down on the ground. So all the excess trash is in the bottom. Like the bag may have burst or something like that. And we, my neighbor has cats, so they always get in our trash. They just throw it down on the ground. So, yeah, my husband went out and cleaned up all the trash. But I can't stand the smell of garbage on the driveway and stuff like that. So I got all my cleaning stuff and went out there and scrubbed down the driveway and wound up doing the front porch of the house. And I'm sleepy, y'all, for real. But I knew I had to cook something for dinner. 
So I said, let me get up because if I keep sitting here, I was sitting on the sofa, y'all planning out my my uh my plan of attack for um my Black Friday sale. Yeah. Y'all, I'm trying to get used to these glasses. These are my new glasses. And at the bottom, they have bifocals on them. So I'm constantly, now look, ooh, that hurt my eyes. But like this, okay. But when I'm reading something, I have to look in the lower part. So I'm not used to them yet. I've only had them about two weeks. Yeah, so I haven't had them that long. But I just get to the point where, you know, I just can't stand all that foolishness, all, all that mess on the dry weight. And I'm like, if it was your house, you would not want nobody to do that. But they don't care. So, I was outside doing that. And of course, Corey came outside running in his underwear. Ran right into the water. So I wound up just spraying him down with the water hose, letting him run out in the grass. He got mad because it was time to go in. And here he come right here. Hey, dude. Come here. Back up this way. Come here. Come over here. Now look at the camera. Say, hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Mommy. Yes, baby. What? What you want? What? What is it you want? You have to tell me. Use the word. What? You don't know? What? What? What is it? Popcorn. Popcorn. This is what I'm doing today. So I'm just going to cut these onions up. I love these little trays. Now, I save containers, y'all. I don't know. It's the black in me, I guess. And I know not all black people do it, but I do. I just like little storage containers. And these have lids to them. I got these from, we were having pizza. And we ordered hot wings from Little Pizza Pizza. And they come in a little tray. With the lid. And so the lid goes on like that, of course. And so I just save them. Save them and use them for different things. So I'm going to cut up this onion that I'm going to put on top of my chicken. Turn my oven on. Okay. Start. Corey. Corey. 
Come get your popcorn. So I got all my onions cut up, my celery cut up, I got my vegetables, and I may have to add some more vegetables, don't know. My chicken is boiling, got my flour that I am going to um, add a little bit of it to um, some margarine with some milk. And I'm going to use canned milk. And I am going to make lemonade. That's what I'm getting ready to do, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm planning my attack for the, uh, at the mm, can't get it out for the Black Friday sale. So I've been on Walmart.com. I haven't gone anywhere else to see if anybody else has released their sale papers or not. But And I know see, I'm not with all that traveling. And you know, people get crooked and stuff like that. Not that they're not crooked any other day, but I don't want to be too far away from home with a car full of stuff. And at least Walmart is around the corner from my house. I can go and do that um, because they are actually having a sale on Thanksgiving, so it starts at six o'clock. So um, you can go in, get in line between six and seven, and you can go ahead and pay for your stuff. And that is the one-hour guarantee. That means if you get in there between six and seven and get your little ticket for whatever item you want, it guarantees that you get that item because they're going to tell you to come back between a certain time and when they're going to issue them out. Now, if you don't, then you just run the risk of not getting it. So that's what I plan to do. I know I'm going to have a house full of people. They're going to have to excuse me for a minute. Oh, you got to send my girls around the corner, which is not, you know, that far. Literally five minutes away. So. And then if I'm not able to do that, I can always order online. Which is a good good thing to do. Is to order online. So they have comforter sets. They have a truck, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's a little um, remote control truck. It's about that big. It's about this big. It's about that tall for forty nine dollars, I believe it is, that I want to get for Corey. So we gonna see. So we're going to see. I already have my chicken thawing out that I'm going to put in the oven. It's not thawed out yet. So I am going to add a little flour to my celery and onion. This is a tablespoon. Just sprinkle it in. Stir it in. I'm going to let that cook slow. I don't want it to taste like flour, you know. Shake my chicken. Chicken breast is coming along. And that's what I'm going to use. The wings and the, the drumsticks are for my husband. He just, I can't boil chicken. I can't boil turkey neck for nothing unless I throw extra pieces in there for him to eat. So. 
for my chicken when it's ready to go in the oven. Cutting board. I have on a belt pan for me on the floor. I'm going to take chicken breast out. Let them cool down a little bit. So I can handle it. Take the meat. Yeah, they fall apart. I would say, well, baby, are we supposed to be quiet while you record? No, but you're getting louder and louder and louder. So. That. Three. Make a short side. I thought I had more chicken breast than that. Guess not. Off. Separate that bone. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. See how it just fall off the bone. It separates so easily. And it don't take a, but a few minutes, 30, 45 minutes for chicken to boil. Even if it's frozen. Like when I you buy meat, um, take it. If you buy it in bulk like I do, put it in the sink, wash it real good, separate it into Ziploc bags, you know, season it if you want to. Um, I don't season my meat ahead of time because I never know what I'm going to do with it. And I don't bake chicken a lot. Um, and when I fry chicken, I only put salt and cayenne pepper on it. So, I may start to do that to eliminate some of it, but I don't know. It's just a process. I don't know. When I get in the kitchen, I just like to go through the pound. I shortcut a lot of things, but I don't know. We're going to see. Maybe that's just me. Y'all think so? Yeah. There we go. We got all the chicken breast separated. Now let's see. Let's break it up. Hot. Get, make sure you get that gristle piece out. All the bones. I'm going to have to use the fork. 
Remember you used to wait for the wishbone? You know, it's amazing when you get to that age and you realize all the stuff that your parents and stuff used to do was just like a bunch of hoodoo. You know what I mean? But, and then you know when you read the word and you find out that you use your words as power. Like we tell somebody, you make me spit. And you wonder why you be sick all the time because you're speaking it over yourself. I did it and still do it. I don't know, it's a habit hard to break. And it's good. I want it to taste just like chicken, not onion chicken, not honey chicken, not seasoned salt chicken. Woo! Chicken. It's hot. So. Okay. So you guys, I'm not going to hold y'all and have y'all sit here and just watch me do this. So I'll be back once I get all my chicken cooled and taken off the bone. And um, when I get ready to put it all together, I'll be back, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. What you want? I am back. Let me turn it down. My babies are home from school. Put that on top. Now, I got my vegetables, my chicken, and my milk, and my flour all mixed together. And that is it. I know you can't really see it. So I'm getting ready to put it in my my pan. Can we uh, no. no. I'm gonna put this in my pan. Well if you knew it, why did you ask me? You gonna let him get, make you get in trouble? Go on the outside, baby. So I got it all mixed together. And I got some broccoli, a little bit of everything in there. So now, I got my cheddar bay biscuit. Now, I'm not adding cheese to this. I just want the biscuit. So it says add three-fourths cup of cold water. And that's what I'm going to do. And then it says a half a cup of shredded cheese. I'm not doing that. So I've got my water and my biscuit mix already mixed. Well, together, and I'm getting ready to mix it up. Now. I'm going to add a little extra water. Because I don't want to make biscuits. I just want it to be a top. So that's about a fourth of a cup more that I added. Show you guys what it looks like. It's thick. Add a little more water. And I am going to sprinkle the herb seasoning on top. And when it comes out of the oven, I'll take my margarine and rub over the top and let it melt in. Now, if I was making the cheddar bay biscuits, I will melt the butter 
and then add the seasoning pack to it. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm, improv I'm improvising. So, like pancake batter. And I'm going to pour it. Put this right here so y'all can see a little better. Put this all on the top. What is that? This is a pot pie. Chicken pot pie. What happened to the biscuit? To me. You never know. What you gonna eat biscuits with, to me? Hmm? You gonna eat biscuits and broccoli together? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Just that sounds big. delicious. Okay, and what other kind of meat? What kind of meat? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just saying, I ain't never seen you do nothing like this before. This is my first try with the biscuits. I've made it with Bisquick, but never the Cheddar Bay Biscuit. So, I got that covered up. I'm going to sprinkle the seasoning over top. Let me put this bad boy in the oven. Put it on the center right. And, um, I think that is it, you guys. I will come back with my finished, I guess, meal. And this is my <laughs> improv meal for today. I love y'all. Be good. Be safe. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey guys, this is your Risa. I am back really quick. I have my finished product of my pot pie. And Janae has already tried it. How it tastes? It's good. Put that in the sink. Oh, sorry. So, this is my pot pie. And it's good. I sprinkled the seasoning on top. Now I'm getting ready to season my chicken for my barbecue chicken. Make chicken, barbecue chicken, all that old good stuff. <laughs> Put a little black pepper. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is season one side first. Then when it starts to cook, I will season the other side. Because I want the seasoning to bake on. And there's a little juice in the bottom. So I don't want my seasoning to rinse off. A little cayenne pepper. Uh, a little seasoned salt. Paprika. And this is in a wing room. There's some wings in it. Full more Negro. Then say it again, Jayla. Jayla say you sound real greedy. I'm just saying. A little garlic powder. Okay. 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 okay, guys. So, I got the majority of my chicken season. Let's see if there's anything else I want to throw on top of here. I'm going to put a little, you know, my dad. I'm not trying to make sweet chicken. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna put on there. The garlic powder is gonna stick. I need somebody to tall to come here. Where you at? Come here, dude. The camera right there, so try not to knock it over. You see, it. can you give me the onion powder? You can go ahead. They want to block the camera. They want to block the camera. You say everything but the onion powder. I guess I'm out. Maybe not yet. Yeah. There's still some stuff out there. Still looking. Get it from over here. My little self can't reach it. It's way back there. 
back with the finished meal, y'all. Bye, please. 